three, two, one. So, hello, Matt. Nice to meet you. How's it going? I know, okay, so let's go for this uh, new product, uh, which is, uh, I would say, an answer to the classical way to mount uh, a mic with a um, uh, suspension at the back of the microphone and, and some uh, wind protection, wind screen on the front of the mic. So that for these, uh, spe specifically for this new generation of mics with a short rear part, uh, like a mini CMIT, like a, a Fortin 17C, a 8050 from Sennheiser, DPA and, and all these, a new Sanken, uh, for these mics, uh, it appears that uh, the battle between the front and the back part of the microphone, which where suspension tends to be very straight, uh, and windshields, uh, with that will have a, uh, you know, the, the definition of the protection in the front is cut completely near the membrane. That creates uh, some some um, uh, units very unbalanced and with a poor wind protection and poor handling noise quality. Then the fight is over. I mean, I mean this is a mix of these where we have both um, advantages of a full surrounding shield around the microphone up to the end. And also we have the suspension, which is now external, which is uh, the, the real uh, new concept and new technique. The both isolators are external. Then we can have the advantage of a good isolation because there is enough width uh, between isolator, which is a nice way to have something firm. And of course, the, 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 the shield goes all around the microphone. So the, 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 the thing to, to open and to access the microphone also, I will show you very, very easily. Then here is the microphone, so uh, the access to the microphone is uh, really, really fast. Uh, so I do it again in the, in the opposite way. Then court turn, uh, bayonet, and firm fixation at the end. Uh, straight angle, so that is MS ready. That means uh, when we will have a figure of eight inside, the, the, the position of the membrane will be fixed like that. Then you have these two little things to compensate the um, uh, the fact that the microphone is long, so you need an extra length of cable. So this extra length is needed. But then there is another advantage, is that you can have uh, a very quick camera adaptation. We just put uh, this uh, uh, camera adapter, where is it? It's, it's here. You have the camera adapter here, which you fix on one of the two fixation points on the bottom. Uh, here, the, um, the, the swivel for boom is fixed on the front part of this bar. And then you can use the second uh, here fixation point for the camera adapter. And then you have the result. Sorry, I have no camera on the booth, but you have uh, a picture of it. And you can understand immediately the interest also because this uses the same cable for many, many cameras. If you have a specific camera with a far away XLR, then you, we can make a very simple um, uh, uh, special cable because the cable also goes out very quickly. Uh, you, you just extract it like that, that from, the, from the unit. So you see that changing the cable is also something very quick. And we have here, you can see the four microphone holders just four diameters, uh, 19, 20, 21, and 22. 19 is for um, uh, mainly 8050 Sennheiser, 8040, DPA, uh, uh, 1418C, with the C version, short version. And uh, we have also the new Sanken, CSM1, that fits. Uh, 20, that's for the CMC from Sherps. 21 mini CMIT, which I like a lot because uh, there is this integrated uh, uh, filter with a high slope filter 24 dB per octave, uh, which is a really a rumble killer and, and a very nice uh, uh, tool for, for, for these uh, old, old suspensions and windshields, specifically for this new COSI uh, series. We have, as a modular system, we have three lengths of, of cages. We have long, medium, and short. 
Uh, basically, the long is for all uh, mini CMIT, of course, uh, 14, 17 C, uh, 15 centimeter long. We have this medium, which will fit, um, it will fit the, the new Senken CSM1. It also a very good solution for the CMBI from Sherps. On the, on the presentation video, uh, we have this uh, CMBI on the camera, that's on the video, uh, which is a very nice length and a very nice uh, association of microphone and DSLR because it doesn't need any 48 volts and also th this DSLR or probably many others uh, are, have a very good sound recording uh, uh, facility. We have, uh, and the short uh, for shorter mics like uh, of course the MKH 8050, DPA 1418C uh, uh, and so on. So that's the basic uh, project. We have we have last thing concerned the, the swivel. The swivel, you see that uh, it has some tooth. It's a tooth swivel, so you don't need to, to, to tighten it so, so uh, high. So it's a very low tension and then you, will, you have a very high quality of fixation. Um, this, uh, this swivel, if you have some um, plug-on system, then you can also, with these very little two screws, what I call the violin screws, you can put your plug-on or XLR um, behind the, the, the shield or uh, at the rear part or on the side part. And the, 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 the cable, when, it, when the movement, it's okay in, in all three positions, you see, something yeah, like that. Very good for wireless packs. Wireless, that's made for. Uh, you can, so, because of this camera adaptation, you can, you can rotate your wireless, you can also extract the XLR, take out completely the swivel, uh, and, and finally, every single part of this unit is made out of uh, unbreakable plastic. So uh, the news is you can really use it in very harsh conditions. Um, let's see.